Welcome back to Rand's Family Gaming. Today we're going to be reviewing Transamerica. So, how this game works is you would basically, these cards would all be spread out randomly, but we put them in the pile so you could see. They would all be, like, laid out on here face down. You choose one of each color. Um, so... And each color represents, like, a different part of the United States. So... the green will represent over here. And then you go all the way to the sides. Okay, so... To once make sure that all of your cards are spread across the United States. Once you've got all of your cards, you put them over to the side. And you look at where your first place you're going to go. Because you start at one of your places. So you can see if your places are close. So I got Richmond... Oklahoma City, Bismarck, San Francisco, and Dallas. Each one of these is a different city, which you have to build your train tracks across. So you would get one of these cars, and you would have your train on the track. So we'd start there, and I'll, I'll go Richmond. So that's in the orange. It'll show you the color. So you just look in the orange area. It's right there. Now, Rosie would put hers on one of her places. But you don't show anybody your cards because you, you're all bidding against you. And so she chose San Francisco. So San Diego. Oh. Well, Bismarck is there. So how you play is it's simple. On your turn... You would just place two of these tiles down on the lines. So I could do that. But it will show these double spaces on the mountains or the rivers. You can see them easily because that's one line. That's two. You can only play one, one of these on your turn and not play a double one. So I could only play that and not play two. So you're trying to get all your cities so if i was to start say if i was to start here and he needed to get somewhere down here and i already started to build here if he connects to me he can build off of my train tracks so let's say i've had some train tracks built like this and he needs to get here he can build off of my train tracks once he connects so i could do that and then that and so there's usually more people so in a game sometimes someone could start there someone could start there so later in the game your board might look like this like with a lot of building off of it and these people could be connected so if you wanted to get there and you, these people, the one person, this one needed to get there. You could connect to make everybody connected, but it's a risk because if they need to go there and you're connecting to them, when it's their turn, they could do that and get it. So, but it would help you too, but they could get that quicker. So you don't really know where this is going to be. That's why you don't do this. I was just doing this so you guys could see. The round ends when one player connects all of their cities together. So if I needed, if I had, if somebody connected it all and I just needed to get to here, that's one track. So I'd move up one point. When somebody hits this, every round this train track here is going to move down one and whoever, if someone bumps into it, the game is over. Whoever has the least amount of points wins. I give this game a 7 out of 10 because I don't really know how to play it, but I, but I like it at the same time. So, it's sometimes I get it to go, like, places good, but... Okay. I'm going to give this game a 9 out of 10. I like how 
you can play with six players. And I like how you have to try to connect everything up and you get to like you get to work together with people. Not work together, but you get to use other people's things to benefit yourself. And I love how it's it's like it's a pretty short game and everybody can have a good time together with a lot of people in a big group. I give this game a 9 out of 10. I really like how you're getting these cards and trying to make train tracks across the U.S. and trying to get to all these different places and how you can connect with people. The only part that I, I have a couple complaints. One of them is, this is probably the main one, there's so many double railroads. Well, that's because well, that's there's an actual mountain yeah, range Yeah, I know, there. but it's supposed to make the game You can't hard. just go over a mountain. Yeah, the I train's going to fall off. It's supposed to make no, this game harder. Over here, there's so, so many. And yeah, it's so trying to make these hard to get to. If you're, like, here, you could just go right by it like that. But, but this right here or that... You have to go through all of these to get it. So, uh, that's why I give this game a 9 out of 10. And if you don't know how to play this game, you should watch this video after. Okay. Um, I, I really, I like this game because you can have family conversations and it is different every time because you're randomly putting cards out and then you're picking them up and you could start in any one of these spots and then you build all along through other people and there's always really good conversations that happen throughout the game and i think this game is really good i give it an eight out of ten this is the this is the thumbs up button no no, no leave it like we'll make that. it over here that's the thumbs what down button the... there's... no because it's facing them oh yeah <laughs> <laughs> No, it has to be sticking out. No, this is sticking out. Oh, wait, never mind, never mind, never mind. <laughs> this is sticking out. Okay. I'm not ready. I'm making a little bell. Okay, go, go, go. Wait, when I'm are you going to start it? I'm making a little bell. Start, start, start. Please like and subscribe and hit the like button. Oh, I said that. I said hit the like button. <laughs> Here we start that. No. Um, don't forget to leave a comment. And, and, and like this video. And, and, and subscribe. And, and subscribe. give this video a thumbs up and hit that little bell.